What is up, YouTube? Frost the Hobbit in here, and we're ready for the hype right now. So this is going to be another death battle. Shredder versus the Silver Samurai. And if you have, in fact, the rules still apply. If you haven't seen this video yet, go check it on the link down below. The Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Silver Samurai from the Marvel Comics. Hmm. This is, uh, yeah, I'm, I am very, this is very interesting, but I'm also concerned. Concerned not many people don't know about the Silver Samurai. That's surprising. But that's why we're going to learn about him today. So, so yeah, th th this is the reason why they do all of those analysis. All right. I'm, I know more about the Shredder than the Silver Samurai. And I've seen Silver Samurai in the Wolverine movies, in the Wolverine movie. And, and I, and I saw his appearance in the, uh, the X-Men, Wolverine, the X-Men animated series. Which surprisingly, fun fact, the Wolverine, the X-Men cartoon show is connected to... Hulk versus Wolverine, Hulk versus Thor, and the Avengers: Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV show. So yeah, they were those movies were those movies and TV shows were connected to the same universe. I mean the same the same animated uni animated universe, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know how it is. All right, enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get on to reaction. We see Chad's face on the screen, looking like, "Are you done talking? Is, are you done talking, White Furball?" <laughs> so let's do this in three, two, one, go. Before we get to the video, I wanted to let you guys know we're having a huge clearance sale on the website. Discounts over 50% off on Ooh, everything nice. you can think of. Hats, shirts, drinkware, you name it. So click the link in the description and head over there and check it out. All right. I might. I might get some commercial breaks stopping me, so. Hundreds of years ago, the samurai and the ninja battled across Japan. And these two That's fascinating ways of combat have been at odds ever since. The Shredder, the sharp and shiny arch-villain of the Ninja Turtles. And Silver Samurai, the mutant swordsman who can slice through anything. He's weighs an arm boomstick. Nice. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, yes, armor, the and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In pixels. Beneath the streets of New York it's City, it's a secret battle wages between four humanoid turtles and a ninja covered in blades known as the Shredder. A kitchen utensil? Many legends <laughs> surround the Shredder's origins. Some say he's the reincarnation of an ancient Japanese warrior. Some say he's an alien disguised as a man. And some say he's a bumbling idiot who sounds like Uncle Phil. But I wanna conquer this place. I wanna conquer her ass. Either way, every legend oh, agrees God, he on does one sound thing. Like that. He's an absolute badass. Uh, Before he was called the Shrek. I always thought he was, was the alien because I grew up. The first time I saw the Ninja Turtles. Foot Clan. He trained was alongside the 2003 his rival, Ninja Turtles Hamato anime Yoshi. series. They weren't just rivals in martial arts, but no, in the search for Ninja love as well. Turtles. They both pined for the lovely lady Tang Shen. But unfortunately for our future Shredder, like she only series. had eyes for Yoshi. Amato yeah. Yoshi, not the dinosaur. That'd be weird. It Jealous, would. Orokusaki attacked Yoshi, but in his rage, accidentally struck down Tang Shen. Oh, man. Leaving Aww. Yoshi and his beloved for dead, Saki took over the Foot Clan and began a worldwide crime spree under his new name. Now you face... What a dick. The Shredder. I wonder, did I always hated how much of a jerk the Shredder is. Grater? Speaking of which, if his armor didn't make it obvious enough, Shredder's got a weird spike fetish. This guy's got him all over his legs, <laughs> yeah, arms, shoulders, even his head. That headpiece, the Kuro Kabuto, is a relic passed down through the Foot Clan for over 1,500 years. Wow, Forged from long. the totems of the clan's defeated enemies, it was formed into an alloy that's stronger than steel. Plus, it just looks awesome. Obviously, his armor is, is also true. a kick-ass cool. weapon, and he can cut anyone down with the Teko Kagi claws on his wrists. Which literally translates to back-of-the-hand hooks. Perfect for backhanding. Of course. It doesn't cover all that much, but he needs freedom of movement because, you know, he's a ninja. Plus, well, would you want to get anywhere near a guy covered in razors? Yeah, I don't think so. Good Ninjutsu point. is comprised of 18 separate disciplines, and Shredder is a master of all of them. 
This includes oh, stealth, nested. espionage, Every pyrotechnics, horsemanship, skill. and plenty of weaponry. Yeah, like swords, spears, bow stabs, and throwing weapons. But it's not like he needs them anyway. He's skilled in unarmed combat, too. Now a master of his craft, the Shredder led the Foot Clan to New York City. Where he found out Hamato Yoshi wasn't quite as dead as he thought. As a matter of fact, Yoshi had transformed into a rat person and was raising four adolescent genetically altered shinobi terrapins. But yeah. that's another story altogether. With his hatred you know reinvigorated, the Shredder swore to end his lifelong enemy once and for all. Every time Shredder fought these Ninja Turtles, he proved why he's the leader of the Foot Clan. I mean, he's strong enough to tear through steel shipping containers he has with a blood his claws, through, chop down blood trees in one sword brother. swing, and throw around mutants several times his size like they're nothing. One such mutant, Leatherhead, weighs well over 300 pounds. Alright, I know that's the official weight according to some toy, but look at him! <laughs> Compared to the turtles, he should weigh half a ton. Either way, the Shredder survived Leatherhead chomping down on his midsection. The femur, the strongest bone in the human body, breaks at a pressure of about 1,700 pounds per square inch. A normal, unmutated American alligator can bite with a force of nearly 3,000 PSI. And Leatherhead's bite is shred Dang. stronger. Meaning Shredder should have split in half. But Shredder nope, should have died. Back up, kicking some leather butt. Literally five seconds later. Shredder, Shredder is, is stubborn. A cunning stubborn. He, he's hard to warrior. kill. He's fought eight mutants in combat all at once, disarming every single one of them. What's more, while intimidating an Italian mob oh, boss and his bodyguards, dude. he did this. The most well-trained human oh, eyes are capable of detecting movements occurring in 1 220th of a second. Okay. Meaning Shredder's Slash could have been even faster than that. But sometimes Shreds needs just a bit Dang. more juice to get the job done. Literally, when you see him crack open a green one, he's not doing it to hang out with the boys. <laughs> in times of desperation, Shredder is known to resort to risking it all by consuming mutagen. That's one thing about Shredder, he'll do anything shredder. he can to kill his he opponent. It. It's a super shredder. While this form has given him different enhancements in different iterations, it usually grants him immense strength, inhuman durability, that's even true. teleportation and the power to shoot lightning. You know, Wait, that's what? probably because mutagen's not an exact science and it's bound to get random at times. I didn't know he can shoot true, lightning. Boomstick. I did a teleport. science. Good job. <laughs> Well, he's toughed out a sword shattering against his skin and even yes. falling around a thousand feet onto a steel beam. Man, you'd think this guy would never lose anything, ever. <laughs> but you'd also be super wrong. Shredder has his fair share of downsides. <laughs> this includes a weakness to garbage trucks. Oops. <laughs> Newborn infants. And not many people are letting go of that joke. The power of music. A strange fascination what? with eating his enemies. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. And wood. That's classic. <laughs> Jeez, were the 90s always this stupid? <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, despite his failures, Sadly. the Shredder keeps getting Sadly, back up yes. faster, stronger, and much more terrifying. Shredder comes back with a vengeance. The true battle starts now. That is a cool design of the Shredder. In feudal Japan, a samurai Always wasn't your typical bodyguard. Sub -Zero. He was trained in that the art of happen, war, and would only Sub -Zero from the other class. video games that may Sub Zero look like Shredder. Was the samurai's currency. But for the silver samurai, oh. Kenoichi Harada, currency that was just name. regular money, because that shit's useful. Born into the Yashida of course, clan, Harada was money. the son of a powerful yakuza crime lord. Unfortunately, he the could same never inherit his father's empire for himself so because he was born illegitimately. A, a bastard. I didn't know he's a mutant. Wow, wait, no need to throw insults around, Wiz. No, the literal the definition John, of bastard. Sadly, not life. What? Wiz's judgment aside, without a clear future, Harada decided to well become a samurai because why not? They're pretty cool, right? Unfortunately, yeah. the way of the samurai no longer had a place in the present. Harada knew that in a world full of absurd superpowers, he would need to dedicate his life to the art in a way never seen before. He wouldn't just be a samurai, he'd be a silver samurai. Yep. Well, blinged out yeah, like exhibits much. rims, he picked up on a few fighting styles. 
Not too many. Just Bajutsu, the art of horseback, Fujutsu, military strategy, Eijutsu, the sword based quick draw, Tanto Jutsu, knife fighting, Ninjutsu, being sneaky, Jujutsu, which is archery, and, well, Jujutsu and Karate Do, which are both forms of unarmed combat. God, how many more Jutsus do you think you can fit in his brain? I Even don't know, know that but many. yeah. At least one more Kenjutsu, the art of Japanese sword fighting. After all, what's of a course, samurai without important. a katana at his side? Dead. That's what. In order to keep living, he had to get really good with swinging that sword. Luckily for Harada, he soon learned he had one of those absurd superpowers for himself. Yep, he's a mutant. Now who's being insensitive? Harada has the ability to generate a tachyon field. With it, he can enhance his sword, allowing it to slice through almost anything. Even gold. Ah, but that's what, that's in real what does, life, tachyonic fields are hypothetical other than Wolverine movie, they just made it as technology. Than light, a definition which may explain how Harada's cutting ability works. They thought it was just technology. So like we some guy in a suit in a metal objects. suit. Well, that's too bad for everybody in Silver Samurai's way, because he carries a lot of them. He's got throwing knives and shuriken ninja stars on hand for long-range attacks. And of course, he always carries that katana. He's wielded many different swords, including the legendary Muramasa blade. However, he's not too picky about what kind of sword he carries. With his yeah, he doesn't power, care which any sword blade Harada as carries long as he gets the job done becomes one of the people. most dangerous swords on the planet. Harada has one more trick up his sleeve, a teleportation ring. With it, oh. he can warp around the battlefield for unexpected strikes. Oh, that is makes cheap. For a getaway. Though he almost lost it once to John Belushi. You know, the guy from Saturday Night Live? Jocelyn told me about it once. <laughs> weird. <laughs> After years of hard work, <laughs> oh. what's a super oh, come easy on, way to really? that is awful? The raw egg test. Let me prove it. I don't care about no raw egg tests. Skip. I'm sorry about that, guys. Hey, After maybe that. years of hard work, Harada was truly a masterful warrior. Okay. However, he still struggled to defeat one opponent, the Wolverine. Wolverine, who killed his dad and got engaged to his sister. Ah, the well, shame. To be fair, Wolverine has oh, lived over 100 years. Next in line to rule the so you wouldn't think Wolverine would learn a few things. Needless to say, a combat. little myth. Harada challenged his own sister for the right for to run the clan, so and he won. Beats him. After she was poisoned by an unrelated third party. Sometimes life what just works out with. I guess a win's a win, and that wouldn't be his last one. He's incredibly deadly in battle. He's so fast he deflects bullets with his sword, and once okay. he can slice a speeding bullet completely in half. In this instance, the gunman was standing oh, that's nothing new. I see when he do fired that. the bullet at approximately 1,400 feet per second. This means that Silver Samurai was able to reach for his sword and accurately cleave the bullet in two in just over one hundredth of a second. Even if he didn't chop it in half, his armor is totally bulletproof. Shoot, it even let him survive a friggin' building falling on top of him. But without his armor, he survived taking a sword straight through the lung and getting run over by a car from the f***ing Jetsons. <laughs> He's no slouch on the battlefield either. He's knocked Spider-Man unconscious, shaken off oh. hits from Cannonball, and even defeated Spider-Woman in combat. At one point, he was dogpiled by Daredevil, She-Devil, along with a cheetah and a panther, together likely weighing over 600 pounds in total. Okay. And he threw them all off in one big push. And he's always fighting with his number one rival, Wolverine. Speaking of which, while some may boast that Harada is the greatest swordsman in the world, Wolverine's frequently proven to be his better. Yeah, yeah. he may be good with his Wolverine blade, has but his battle more strategy years of experience isn't of combat quite as sharp. Him. Also, his bulletproof armor doesn't cover everything. As seen here. Well, even that was merciful compared Dang. to what happened when he went up against the four black samurai. Although Harada defeated them all against impossible odds, he ultimately succumbed to his wounds. And when he arrived in hell, Harada met the devil, who promptly killed him again by cutting off his head and smashing his corpse into mush with a soul-destroying sword the size of a school bus. Damn! Okay. Never let it be said, the Silver Samurai isn't hardcore. There's nothing surprising, the devil is a heartless monster. Last chance, Arada. Yield. Okay. The Silver Samurai yields to no man. Your voice sounds familiar. It's been a while since I've seen the animated all series All right, the that. combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of slicing and dicing has got me thinking about a Blue Apron meal. Thank you.
Yeah. Had the blue apron meal, so we're gonna skip that. Hold on, guys. With your own two hands. And are not repeated within the year, so incredible home cooked meals with. There we go. Ooh, nice. Some lackeys go out first. Give me some quick work of them. <laughs> you are no match for the Shredder. Nice animation. All right, I'm gonna go with the shredder. Cause I know him more. All right, already using that tachyon field. The shredder's too quick. He's just jumping off. What the? Holy crap! Yeah, get rid of the cape. <laughs> that laugh, though. I like that laugh. Shredder is really cool here. Got him. Don't brag, Silver Samurai. That's why you're gonna. That's why I think you're gonna lose. And here comes Super Shredder. Who knows? Let's see if you stand a chance. Holy crap! Okay, there's that lightning movie ass. That is intimidating. Oh, snap. Oh. Holy cow. He's added insult to injury. And he's back in, in hell. if he took up darts. Both Shredder and, and Silver Samurai were And the devil just tough, squashed him again. Withstanding tremendous amounts of pain. Murata's when Shredder kills you, he adds tougher, insult to injury. Had plenty of exposed weak points which a fighter as precise as Shredder could exploit. Silver Shredder Samurai is a jerk. could throw around 600 pounds of people and cats, which is technically stronger than anything Shredder's done. But Shredheads handled equally mighty mutants plenty of times, like Leatherhead. That is While true. the Silver Samurai's teleportation ring did make him harder to track, He's always preferred to use it as a means of escaping a battle, not really engaging in one. Even ah. when he did use it during combat, his moves were often predicted by more experienced opponents. This guy likes to come at me from behind. <laughs> Just trying out one of your tricks, Tin Man. Given Shredder's talents, why can't history, Wolverine be in the MCU? Why? The Still, with Harada's Tachyon Blade and Shredder's Ninja Precision, they only needed to land one fatal hit to finish the fight. So the real question was, who could land the killing blow first? They're gonna Silver go with Samurai's the speed, best speed record. Yeah, I knew it! Clocked in at one hundredth of a second. I knew it. Shredder's faster than eyesight feet measured at four thousandths, making him over two times faster than Harada. To be blunt, Shredder's fastest known attack was quicker than Harada's fastest known defense. Proving that Shredder could deal a killing blow first. Or you Shredder know, is he faster. can just turn into Super Shredder and beat the shit out of him. That can work. <laughs> Super Shredder can lift and throw a giant oil tanker like it's a beach ball at a rave. That's probably heavier than 600 pounds of people and cats. Looks like Shredder was too much for Silver to take on. The winner oh, is wow. the Shredder. Okay, Shredder wins. Stick around, we're about I to announce right. the combatants for the next death battle. Who's and next? if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. Next time. Oh, Chris Savage. Chris Ragler. 
What is going on? Not even you can prevent this. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is new. That just came out of nowhere. Oh, Smokey the Bear versus McGruff. McGruff, the crime fighting dog. Oh man, when I heard not even you can, <laughs> I, I I immediately knew what they were talking about. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be a fun match next for the next three Wednesdays, I believe. Oh man. All right. Oh, I'm, all right, what I, my thoughts on this episode. I knew Shredder was going to win this somehow because he, like they showed the results as they showed to me, that Shredder has mastered every single ninjutsu style, including he, Shredder, knowing Shredder, he will take advantage on those weak spots and will take the finishing blow against his opponent. Plus, he is a douchebag. Shredder is a douchebag. There's no denying it. He is a he's a douchebag that you will love to that you will hate in the Ninja Turtle series. And he has overpowered every single char- every single character in, in the Ninja Turtles. It doesn't matter no matter how much the Ninja Turtles improve on their fighting skills, they will always get their butts kicked by the Shredder. Now, I want to see a battle against I want to see the battle against Shredder versus Batman because I have seen Batman fought the Shredder in a Ninja Turtles and Batman crossover comics. I want to see that live or an animated. Someone work on that, please. I know in the comics he some, Batman somehow won, but I want to see how. They Death Battle has shown the information of what Shredder can do, and they did information for Batman twice. So someone make that happen. Other than that, Batman won. Silver Samurai, you, I thought you win because you had. I thought you would have more experience since you are a Marvel, Marvel character, and they have done some a lot of crazy things. Second best to DC because DC is, let's face it, DC is has some overpowered characters. But but thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day. What are your thoughts on this episode? Like, comment, subscribe. What are your thoughts on this fight? Leave a comment down below. Who who do you think should have won? Why do you think they won? What were your thoughts on there of the of the Shredder and Silver Samurai's feats? And do you actually know the Silver Samurai? I hope you have a hope y'all have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, take care, be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty.